Some days, it feels like no one knows how to get along anymore. The world is on fire or flooded. If you have different opinions or beliefs, you simply back away from people. Home doesn't even feel good, as when you're alone, you tend to get wrapped up in the news of the day, whether it's true or not. You begin to think of your life as second half, final quarter, etc. You're not having any fun with life. Let all that go. This past weekend, I know of two mini reunions. As time goes by, the one thing you have in common is the past. It's a bond like no other. This bond allows you to connect on a very deep level. In small groups, you will hear stories of how life is turning out. You will discover that you are not alone and how much people care. You may be surprised at the deep connection you didn't even know you felt for each other. When you attend large gatherings, the talk tends to be superficial. When you connect on social media, you either skip over the unpleasant stuff or put forth opinions you wouldn't if you were face to face. When you interact with real live humans, you will rediscover the things that draw us together, the things that make us human, the things that give life meaning. It's hard. Our private spaces feel so safe. The effort it takes to get up and do something may make you want to stick your head under the covers and ignore life. You may make excuses about not having time or resources. You may convince yourself that you never really like the people who've invited you to spend time with them. Or maybe you think they didn't like you. Do it anyway. You may meet with someone from your past and decide that they are no longer your people. You may meet with people who care enough to keep you going when you want to give up. You may discover that you are not the only one with your particular set of problems. You might have a good time. You might have a good cry. You may have a lot of fun. If you have the opportunity, just do it. You'll find that you are the awesome person you are always meant to be and that there are people who will make sure you know it. My name is the Reverend Kathy Crosby, and there you have it, short and sweet.